Hello and welcome back to the fourth try and close beta with me, Barden. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is end our turn. So we're going to explore this area of the map. So I want to go and see what this is, first of all. So let's head there. Um, it's coming soon, apparently. Okay. So I don't know what it was supposed to be, but... Um, now I want to check this one next. Hopefully that's not coming soon as well. Let's end our turn. And I would, talking of the turn count, I would like to see if certain things expired, say, um, like if that's a story mission, obviously it wouldn't expire, but if there's random encounters and things, um, it would be nice to see, you know, maybe turn counters for when, for when they expire as well. Maybe it'll counter on one of these um, just so that you feel kind of an, you know, at the moment, I'm not sure what exactly the turns do because, um, you know, we don't have enemies wandering around the map and we don't have like any time pressure to actually get anywhere. So it'd be nice if the turns maybe force you to choose between maybe, you know, um, grab an upgrade you know, maybe we in a couple of turns we could grab an upgrade, we could um, do a fight, we could grab something else, or we could do like um, two fights instead or something like that. But you know, you can't you can't do everything because of the turn counter. That would be nice then. It would kind of give the the turn counter a purpose. Also, um, it would be nice here on on the map to have maybe some kind of background with not the not like the um not the same music like on a loop but maybe it was a few different tunes um you know so the music will come in and play and then go away and then another track will start up or something just again you know uh just to give more life to this that looks interesting that we can go down there but then we can't do anything so i'm gonna go and grab this a wise lanky hermit dispenses experience wisdom to one of your heroes. Okay, so uh, Maisie got a level up out of that. Okay. Um, there we go. So, um, fortunately, fire envelops the hero, firing tarantula snakes in all directions for two turns. Cake is then served in to nearby allies, healing for half their health. Or whatever exciting description tickles your fancy. Cool down four. <laughs> That's a nice. I don't think that that will be an ability, but it's a nice little description at least. Okay, let's get triple slash. So I think then that's all of Maisie's levels up, level up stone. Um, and then I want to grab this as well because I'm curious about this all the time. Level up for Adun. Okay. So Caitlin got leveled up and then she's got smoke bomb. Cannot use near, when near melee enemy units. So she, so that's kind of a, an ability to help others out rather than um, for her. I think I want to go here because I'm intrigued by the fact that it's a forest setting because um, previously we fought you know, in the little villages, the towns, and um, we fought in the castles, we fought in the caves, but we never really fought somewhere where, well, I suppose we had that one where it was like the river. Maybe it's that one, um, the one where you have to cross the river and fight. Uh, but th there doesn't seem to be any river on this thing, so I'm wondering if this is a new map. It would be nice if it was, but maybe it is just the, the river one. Uh, but we'll go there and see anyway. A rivered forest stands ahead. Legend has it during peaceful times to cross safely. One must pay a toll or play leapfrog with the local dryads. Difficulty four. I am a master of leapfrogger. Yep, yeah, definitely am. Okay, so it, it is the um, the forested area, so or the river, should I say? Like the main the main feature of this map is is the river. 
getting across there. So basically on this map, the starting movement of trying to get over there is probably the hardest part of it. And then as long as your guy, you, you guys can survive that, um, until you get around really over to here, then you know it's not so bad, but still it is a pretty difficult start. So let's start um, with let's move you and to here. Okay, and fired out two damage or all or five to seven. 86. So let's go for you. Okay, so he's almost dead, not quite. You can blind him like, can you see that? Yes, you can. So that's a guaranteed kill. Let's do that. Um, the good thing is we have the dash and slash this time because um, normally that's not or that wasn't available um, when I played through this mission on the demo. It's crazy too. Okay, and what do we do to here? And then I want you to hold on. Okay. Oh, there's some health, so um, you can definitely use that on amazing. Yeah, both of them have. I think that was Maze just taking her fire damage. Oh, sir. Uh, so let's start with Caitlyn. Fifteen percent to. I want to set this tree on fire. Hopefully that will spread to that guy and then we can kind of force him out of his own watch position. Now, uh, this guy is the real problem though. So let's move her. See if we go there, we... we Potentially gonna we're gonna activate oh, sorry. we're gonna activate another group over that one. You could then flank us. That would be a big problem. So why don't we use frighten? But frighten will move him away though from the burning. Which would not be good. Well, let's use it anyway. Um, so everyone's moved. Uh, I probably should have put her on Overwatch. But you can Overwatch for people coming back now. move you up to here and you can brace okay then let's see what they do so get the overwatch on him so we've removed him as a problem now which is good the other two over there will make their way back he's standing out in the open and he's missed us so he shouldn't be too difficult to eliminate and he missed from here. And he's behind there, which means that um, it should be easier for us 
to me. Um, should be easier for us to get to a position where he can't shoot us, and therefore he'll have to move. Okay, so this guy. Let's see what Kate can do. Seventy percent chance, pretty much, to kill him. There we go. He's dead. Okay, and let's move you. That was like one move. So let's do that. go here. And that up. Probably should actually wait it. This is gonna take more damage and we would have healed more points but um, you know you know what to say hindsight's twenty twenty. Now let's move you You can both watch there. And you can go there to start. Then I want you to race. Okay. So he can actually shoot around that. I didn't know that. Because it looks like it's. Oh, it is only one person, right? It just looks two people, right? Okay, lucky that missed. And that one missed as well. Okay, well, now I think it's maybe advantage to us. Hopefully. So first off, let's start with Velvet, and let's move here, okay, oh, that's not good, um, but we came here to do this, goodbye, oh, you can't swim, sorry about that. Dash and slash, but to where? It's hard to tell, isn't it? Um, I like, I'd like a bit more kind of um, information on. Ah, so it's because you're in the way, so someone else has to take you out. So could you maybe do the honors for us? Bow attack. Reach that far, okay. But if you move, then you shoot. So move up to. Once you move to here. You shouldn't be able to shoot that guy, so let's not worry about him. The guy all the way over on the side. Oh, look, one or one away. So why don't you. Can you like me? Yes, you can. Okay. So let's hope for the full damage. No, we hit the tree instead. Okay. Was it lucky? Okay. So why don't you then go there? At least we can then take out one guy. Claw attack on him will definitely kill him. I 
then I would like you to It's got a very short range. Okay, well then you just overwatch. I suppose it is a, a smoke bomb, so it's just to throw it rather than shoot it. Okay, nice miss, thank you for that. Luckily, um, she can move there, and then she can do this to you. Haha! <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna be saved by the by the rock. Luckily, no. Okay, now let's uh, start moving forward. So you can come here. Then Velvet needs to... So Velvet can go there. Okay. And go over here. Okay, while Caitlyn... I think I like the idea of Caitlyn going here. Because she may be able to... shot on that guy? Yes, you can. So if she hits him, she'll kill him. But there's only like a 1 in 3 chance of hitting him. We're going to take the chance of him. Oh, and there we go. That's why. Nice. Beautiful. Thank you very much for that, Caitlin. Okay, so this guy is just a melee. But I believe he does have a range buddy somewhere up around here. Or that's the way I've normally seen this. Okay, so Maisie needs to stay back. Let's um, just blind the light up for now. Okay, good. Then you can move up to here. Okay, and then go watch. Let's just, let's just um, brace Maisie in the back. Okay. Then Caitlin. You can go there. Okay. And then... There's probably going to be the best place to put her for now. Okay, and then let's see what he does. So he's gonna move up, get all watched. Didn't quite die, he missed us. Okay, now. Let's move you to here. Then kicking. Oh, you got three. So let's just sword attack you. Then that makes sure that um, she. I want to make sure she was in range to get that extra point of health. And she can pop over there. Okay, and then the others. So you can blink up to here. Or watch. And Caitlin's got to go the conventional route, so here first. And then K 
can't quite reach there, so... Mm, it's a difficult choice. Hang on. There is a spot there, though. Okay, go there. And then we'll see what the, the enemies do. Getting across again, any any kind of expanse can be difficult because you need to be able to need to be able to, to get across it safely, and you're kind of exposed when you're out on on the bridge. So uh, trying to get people. Two positions where they can kind of cover each other. So if we go here. Okay, so there's three guys there. So you can all watch. Then I'm happy enough with you all watching as well. to where I'd like it to go, which can go there, so why don't you go there, because then that puts her in the position to affect those guys next turn, so you're pulling back, overwatched, okay, so it wasn't the uh, most active round by then, so this worries me, this um, area here, because there could be more enemies there. So why don't you go here and see what you can see. No, we can't see anything. Sharon cover. Ten percent chance on him. Okay. So why don't you all watch there? Then it looks like that area is safe, so you can move up to there. Okay, and then you can move up to here. And take an overwatch. Now because of the forest, we could obviously just set all the trees on fire over there. Then we have the potential of that spreading to us as well. So the two long watches, so I think Frighten is a good thing to use now. Scare some people out. Let's do it. Okay, so whether we hit or no, we missed. I was going to say, whether we hit or missed, um, it doesn't really matter because it didn't die. So let's um, finally let you. There we go. One damage, but uh, significantly reduced um, aim as well, which is good. Velvet has a level up, so. Taunt, I love the taunt with the middle finger. And then rally, let's use rally. Or let's take rally, should I say. And then we'll use it when we get a chance. Okay, now can we have some fun? Hmm. 
But let's start by using Rally. That'll boost those guys. River now has just I think it's just doing more damage. Than that. I'm gonna try and whirlwind him. I don't think it'll work, but I want to try because if we whirlwind him, we might hit the guy down below him as well. Okay, missed. Then Maisie. Then move up to here. I think we are gonna go for the fire arrow. That should make these guys change position. At least him anyway. Okay, and then Maisie can just continue to stay alive at the back. So he's up and move at the back. Move up to a tree that we can maybe topple on top of him. Oh, look, nice. Okay, so let's start with a swap here. And there is a good swap because I want to get the right angle. Ah, I can't whirlwind in. I wanted to whirlwind that tree on the view, but we can't do that yet. Why don't you just hold watch then? You can brace. Okay, I'll watch there. And you can brace as well. So I'm sure at least one of them is going to come across here and attack. So he's taken some fire damage, which is nice. Then he got overwatched. Okay, so he's dead. Oh, he's not. Well, he is dead, but. Only because of the second overwatch. He's moved back there, he's on fire, so I think we can pretty much ignore him. I think he's on fire as well. Yeah, he set the tree on fire beside him. So I think we're we're pretty much done with that group. So we can start moving forward. Which will trigger more enemies, but uh, that's just the way things go. So let's start with you. I'll bring you up to here. And then maybe put you there. That should trigger. Oh, we haven't triggered anyone. Why don't you come to here? Okay, then can we come up to here. And I'll watch as well. Then Amazing can just go to the corner there. And brace. Okay. He's dead, nice. Probably dead now. No, but I think he, he'll die next round. Anyway. He just managed to spread the fire around the place. Oh, that was. I thought it was highlighting something. I think that was just my mouse drifting. Okay, so again, don't worry about those guys. Let's just continue moving. So you can go there. Still not. I know there are enemies back here, maybe two or three of them, but at the moment we're not seeing Let's bring you to here. And then hold watch. And then let's uh, move 
keep you up here. And for our Maisie, um, can go there, I guess. But Maisie will be um, instrumental, I think, in us winning this because the guys over there are going to um, once once we engage them. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there aren't guys over there. I was gonna say the guys over there once we engage them are probably gonna take cover, and the frightened would. Uh, moved them out of cover, but apparently just no, <laughs> there were no more enemies. So that's uh, it's nice enough for us. So we got everyone then up to um, level four or five. And now let's um, end turn. So I'm going to explore um, the map a bit more just to see if there's anything I missed. So we've got you there. We got that. We got that. Oh, we something here. Okay, I want to go see what this is. Oh, it's coming soon. Okay. Well, it's nice that they're on the map, but it'd be nice to to know what they were. And also, um, I know over time, um, people will get to know what things do, but. It would be nice to have kind of a distinction between maybe, um, you know, which ones are kind of buffs, which ones, you know, I don't know, at some stage maybe we'll get resources as well um, here on this map, which ones are fights, which ones are like, uh, well, this is pretty easy with the party, uh, but, you know, if there are going to be other buildings like that, um, you know, kind of have make it a little easier to tell which category each one falls into. Um, but as well, as I mentioned at the start, a bit of music here, um, and I've mentioned in other videos as well, maybe a bit more movement, a bit more life on it. And also, um, you know, I, f I, found, I found this um, here to be a bit of a disappointment because I saw um, some trees and thought, oh, great, we're going to have... Uh, a forest mission or like a woods mission and it's going to be something new a new type of map um but then it just turned out to be um the river map even though you know the water is over here um and like it doesn't look like there's any water at all connected to that it just looks like you know a road that runs through a forest and i was thinking oh yeah that'll be interesting because um if we're in a, if, if we were in a thick forest then um and there was no water dividing things, then setting the trees on fire would probably end up eventually killing ourselves as well. Um, and I'm just looking there as well. Is that like a tree house? So it's something different. It looks like maybe something different than that. But yeah, um, still having fun playing the game. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to have another update soon because in terms of the um, what's available now in the game, I think pretty much covered most of it. Um, I think we've gotten all of the all of these extra things that we can actually reach on the map anyway, and um, I'm not sure as well whether whether this map is randomly generated or this is this the same map for everybody. I suppose when the game eventually comes out, it'll be hopefully you, it will be parts of it at least will be randomly generated so that um, you're not kind of going because then you got a lot more replayability. Even if you have like a say a core area like this, which is always the same because um, there's no point in say spawning the place where you hire people like miles away from everything else um, at the start at least. I'm sure if, if we're going to be going all over the map, then there should be more of these somewhere out there, you know, beyond those clouds. Um, but yeah, um, replayability for me, at least, would be if the map was different every time. Um, even if you have like a core starter area and then outside of that, um, things would be, would be randomized, it would be good. 
And just to kind of summarize what I've said about the world map on the other videos as well, uh, more, more animation in terms of like these things moving around, um, the water flowing, that kind of thing, a bit of music as well. Um, like not the, uh, the, um, the fight music wouldn't really suit the map, but I'm talking kind of more kind of soothing music and not the same one all the time because then that maybe that would just get annoying, but maybe a few different tunes that kind of come in and out as you're on the map. Um, then also um, things like if we've got turns, then, you know, having turn timers on certain things so that you have to make choices and, um, how you move around the map then becomes very important. Um, no, also kind of some indication of, of what you're going to fight, find somewhere. Obviously, if we go somewhere and it's a fight, it'll give us the dagger. But, um, at the moment for other things, it just has a hand to say, take something. So, you know, you're going to get something out of it, but you don't know whether it's going to be, um, experience or, um, like resources or, um, you know, stuff like that. So that would be nice too. And then, um, as well, just having like more variety on the map as well, where, you know, um, just kind of the different mission types and stuff, um, uh, that we could have that on the map too. Um, but that is it for now for this video. And I'm not sure, but probably I won't play again um, in the closed, well, not the whole closed beta, but until we have another update so that um, there's something more that I, that I can show you. Um, so hopefully that isn't too far away because I know the guys have been working hard um, on the game. So expecting, well, hoping for something in the not too distant future. But that's it for now. So if you've enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and posting a comment because it really does help um, channel for, like, you know, small channel like mine, huge help if someone, if we get, you know, even I get one or two extra subscribers, it's huge for me. So that would be great if you could do that. Um, but I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.